Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily FX market review for the trading day ending Wednesday, May 27th. Firstly to the Euro US dollar and here we see a continuation of the trend to the downside today. Uh, this uh, white body candle on the chart as the uh, candle has completed trading it's at the end of this fairly strong first time frame downtrend that's been uh, uh, trading down since the resistance at 14, 114.59 about a week or so ago. Um, with today's candle we've seen the sellers lose uh, control of the market the buyers take control only a, a moderate amount of control but they have closed up between the midpoint level and the high and uh, we've seen a switch in the size of the body and the color of the body from black to white and it suggests that that strong downside momentum that we saw for the previous day's trading as the sellers breached the 109.02 level has evaporated and they've lost strength and we're seeing the buyers begin to gain some strength here and it does suggest with this type of candle forming that there is good potential for a change of trend to the upside now this is something of a uh, harami type pattern and uh, we're looking for confirmation of that and that would be a candle with a higher high and a higher low with a therefore a change of trend to the upside now the problem here is going to be the strong potential resistance around the top of the cloud at 109.53 and there's a, a uh, possibility if the buyers are strong enough to take out the high of this candle that has finished trading we could see some selling coming in around that area also uh, around the 10902 level very close to where the market closed today we are seeing resistance in this current candle as it is developing now if the buyers are strong enough to breach through the Ichimoku cloud potentially strong resistance at 10 uh, 110.66 and then up to about the 111.60 region. If the trend continues down, strong support down around 107.60 and that's very close to the bottom of the cloud around the 107.50 area. Now just looking at the Fibonacci retracement technique and uh, just comparing the current first time frame downtrend that the market's in to the immediate previous uh, uptrend and it was a one or two candle uptrend that we saw and the market is in an expansive mode of that we took out the 100% level we've traded to the 261.8% with some strong rejection on this candle switching momentum to the buyers switching control switching commitment and it does suggest a possibility of a change of trend to the upside and then also the Fibonacci extension technique examining the relationship of the current first time frame downtrend to the immediate previous first time frame downtrend and uh, we see the market almost testing to the 100% level it is a level that we should be watching closely if the trend does uh, continue to the downside it trades at 108.03 uh, but the market has tested very very close to there with the rejection and it does suggest that there is a possibility of a change of trend next to the hourly chart with uh, the euro US dollar and uh, here we see uh, trading activity down below the Ichimoku cloud we've been trading down below the cloud for a couple of days now so suggesting that we have a strong negative bias in the longer term time frame and uh, for the previous day's trading or today's trading has closed the market tested down to the first pivot point support level bounced off there to find resistance around the middle pivot point level for today's trading we've opened above the middle of the uh, pivot point levels and uh, that's at 108.83 and the market rallying uh, to find some resistance around the Ichimoku cloud now uh, we do have a first time frame uptrend here and uh, the Tenkan Sen trading at uh, 108.97 is providing some support and uh, there is a possibility of the market rallying through to the top of the Ichimoku cloud around 109.36 but we could see strong resistance coming in there if that area fails to hold looking to the first pivot point resistance level at 109.49 and if the sellers do come into the market and we can breach through very very strong support including the bottom of the Ichimoku cloud the Tenkan Sen indicator the middle pivot point level and the Kijin Sen all down through to about 108.74 if we can breach through there in a bearish manner we could see the euro US dollar testing down to the uh, first pivot point support level at 108.38 but um, I certainly doubt that uh, we will see that uh, um, but let's not prejudge the market uh, let's just react to uh, how the market behaves around these areas still is a possibility but there is, that is very solid support down below where the market's trading at the moment 